Who is the most noble of all men? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, It is Yusuf. Al-Kareem, Ibn al-Kareem, Ibn al-Kareem, Ibn al-Kareem. He's the only messenger that is called the Honorable, Son of the Honorable, Son of an Honorable, Son of an Honorable. Who are they? Yusuf is the son of Ya'qub. And Ya'qub is the son of Ishaq. And Ishaq is the son of Ibrahim. Yusuf alayhi salam, he is a Nabi, son of a Nabi, son of a Nabi, son of a Khalil. The level of a Khalil is higher than a Nabi. It's a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. What a great lineage. From a beauty perspective, the Prophet sallallahu says, Yusuf alayhi salam was given half of the beauty of the children of Adam alayhi salam. As some scholars say, he was the most handsome man ever Allah had created on earth. By Allah, when you read Surah Yusuf and you understand Yusuf alayhi salam, you will see that he was also beautiful internally. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Prophet Yusuf. Not only did he give him knowledge and wisdom, he gave him knowledge of the interpretation of dreams. It is the only story in the Quran which is narrated from beginning to end in detail, after detail, after detail, taking you on a journey in one surah, in Surah Yusuf. The language it is written in, the words, the expressions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses, absolutely amazing in the story. If you look at the story of Yusuf and you think about it, you would find in it an ocean of meanings and lessons. When you study the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, it grips you, it grabs you, it touches you. It talks about all the different situations, most situations that human beings will face. Love, politics, betrayal, the plotting of the brothers against him, the sorrow of the father, being steadfast when you're doing the work of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Grief, seduction, power, a man suffered through all of this. One person's life included all of this. One of the things as well that's amazing about the story of Yusuf is that Allah makes it a point to point out his internal grief in every single one of these situations. Yes, Yusuf will maintain an extraordinary exemplary state of tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His character shines in every single one of these instances. He does exactly what you would expect of a prophet of God. This story about this prophet is an amazing story. It's amazing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we revealed unto you the best of the stories. And if you read about it and you hear it, it's such a moving story. The best storytelling you could imagine in the world. Sayyidina Yusuf salam had everything that a person would want in dunya. But this for Sayyidina Yusuf is nothing. Dunya in his eyes is nothing.